What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, again, I want to talk about something that's very irresponsible in the sport of boxing. And that's the fact that you have what was once considered the Bible of boxing, the Ring Magazine, completely, completely watered down and made now irrelevant and soon the ring magazine actual belt is going to be watered down completely as you have the ring magazine writer and the person in charge of the ring magazine making statements that are very irresponsible and very biased and very misleading. The Ring Magazine have their pound for pound list. If you don't know, the Ring Magazine is the colorful um, belt and it's supposed to represent lineage, okay? And with that said, the Ring Magazine has been consistently irresponsible with the pound for pound list. And I use the word irresponsible because you have ring magazines and these historic go-tos for casual fans in the sport of boxing to be able to teach the fans of the sport of boxing about the sport of boxing. Not misleading the fans because you have your own personal biases. Not misleading the fans because you have your own personal preferences. It's supposed to be mutual. It's supposed to be teaching. It's supposed to be a go-to. If you have somebody that's trying to upcome and learn about the sport of boxing, it's supposed to be a historic link to teaching, right? Because the Ring Magazine was, again, once considered the Bible of boxing. And now fans go to the Ring Magazine and they get misled. It's irresponsible because we are supposed to be attempting to make the sport of boxing grow. And so now, clearly, the, the Ring magazine has an issue with certain African-American fighters, right? Clearly. One being undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 30 wins, no loss, no draw. 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Devin Haney is the undisputed lightweight. Devin Haney is the Ring Magazine champion. And yet the Ring Magazine chose not to put Devin Haney on the pound for pound top 10 list. And he holds their Ring Magazine title, okay? They chose not to put Devin Haney on their pound for pound list. But they put a man with multiple losses, no titles, in two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko on the pound-for-pound -pound list over Devin Haney. They choose not to put now former super featherweight world champion, unified, cool boy Stephen Fulton on the pound-for-pound -pound list. And now... They have chosen to not put three-time junior middleweight world champion, who's the undisputed junior middleweight world champion, and should be top five pound for pound, widely recognized as one of the best fighters in the world, and Jamel Ironman Charlo. Jamel Ironman Charlo is 35 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. He's going to dare to be great. He's going to jump up two weight class from 154 to 168 to the super middleweight division, from junior middleweight to super middleweight division. He's going to challenge the four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing in Saul Canelo Alvarez, who has a record of 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is... 33 years of age, he stands at 5 foot 8 with a 70 inch arm reach. They're going to fight Jamel Charlo, Canelo Alvarez, September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T Mobile Arena. 
And with that said, Jamel Charlo called out the Ring Magazine for always consistently not respecting his accomplishments and other African-American fighters' accomplishments and having favorites. And the response of the Ring Magazine is that fans don't know nothing about the sport of boxing. The media, most media don't know nothing about the sport of boxing. And that uh, 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 um, the fans don't know much about the sport of boxing. Media don't know much about the sport of boxing. And that <laughs> Jamel Charlo is going to get the floor, get wiped with the floor. Right? By Canelo Alvarez. The same way former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr. got the floor wiped by him. He got the floor, got, got wiped. He was used to wipe the floor. Right? And the same way former unified super featherweight world champion, Superstar boxer, cool boy Stephen Fulton, who is now 21 wins, one loss, no draw, eight wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, five foot six with a 70 inch arm reach. As cool boy Steph, he lost July 25th in Japan to now four division world champion, former undisputed featherweight, uh, a bantamweight world champion, now the unified bantamweight super world champion in monster Naomi Inoue just a few days before Errol Spence lost badly to Terrence Bud Crawford now something here to note is that obviously Terrence Crawford is African American and Errol Spence is African American Terrence Crawford he dropped Errol Spence in the second round twice in the seventh and stopped him in the ninth round and the other rounds, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth round, he batted Errol Spence. And the eighth round, he batted Errol Spence as well. And so with that said, right? He had no choice but to throw Errol Spence in there. They don't choose to put Terrence Crawford at the top of the list. They have to put Terrence Crawford at the top of the list. They choose to put Naomi the Monster Inoue at the top of the list. And to sprinkle a, a, a few other fighters in there to make it a little bit colorful, they put two heavyweights on there. Heavyweights don't belong in a pound for pound list. The list was created in spite of the heavyweight division. And yet, they have Tyson Fury on there, Ola Sand Usyk, two heavyweights on the pound for pound list. Again, to make sure you sprinkle color in it. Terrence Crawford was so dominant, they had no choice to, but to mention Terrence Crawford. And so, Cool Boy Steph loses to Monster Inoue. And now he's saying that Canelo is going to wipe the floor with Jamel Charlo. And Cool uh, Inoue wiped the floor with uh, Fulton. Terrence Crawford wiped the floor with uh, Errol Spence. And now Canelo's going to wipe the floor with Jamel Charlo. And Jamel Charlo essentially is overrated. And the fans, once again, will be highlighted for not knowing. And the media will not for not knowing what they're talking about. Not knowing the sport of boxing. Um, if these fights were so lopsided, then Vegas would have got it extremely right. Nobody could imagine that Stephen Fulton wouldn't have been competitive against Inoue. Nobody imagined that Earl Spence wouldn't be competitive against Crawford. And nobody imagining that Jamel Charlo won't be competitive against Canelo Alvarez, even if he loses. But again, you are considered the Bible of boxing. The go-to to educate the fans of the sport of boxing, and you are... 
irresponsibly misleading the fans and needs to be done away with. So Jamel Charlo recently called them out and said, where is the ring magazine here? They always got something to say negative about me, but they ain't at the press conference. And see, Jamel Charlo beats Canelo Alvarez. They ain't gonna have a choice but to put him in the top five pound for pound list. Now they just only gonna put him in the top five. Now keep in mind, they said Canelo's gonna wipe the floor with Jamel Charlo. Now Jamel Charlo beats him. They will only put him in the top five. They ain't gonna put him at two or one. They'll put him in the top five because they have to. Just like they put Terrence Crawford at number one because they have to. It's disgusting. It's misleading. It's irresponsible. And it's time that we go out with the old and in with the new. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Moving forward, September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. I'm signing off. I'm gone. Peace.